Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I'm your host, Constance Miller. In today's episode, I'm going to be taking a look at G.I. Joe Classified Retro Carded Scarlets. This is a pretty big deal for me. The original toy line based on the animated series of G.I. Joe, a real American hero, uh, they were three and three quarter inches tall, so they were small. And Scarlet was the first female introduced into the line and naturally I had to have her. She was my favorite character on the show and the original figure didn't have a ponytail. She just had short red hair. So I ended up taking a piece of red fabric and gluing it to the back of her head so she had a ponytail. And a ponytail that worked. <laughs> I had no problems altering my figures at that time. So in the past few years, G.I. Joe's gotten updated to the Classified series, which uh, basically shows modern versions of the characters that we all know and love. And it was a great line. Some of it, um, I had problems with uh, them coming apart. Um, but for the most part, I've enjoyed the line. And now we get the retro carded versions of the characters, which gives their vintage looks in a six inch format. Now, while I love other characters, Scarlet, as I said, is my favorite. And I think she's the only one I'm going to get. I've got quite a few figures of Scarlet, so I might just do a shrine to her. I think that would be a good idea. But let me go ahead and open her up and we're going to take a look. Well, before I do that, I was going to show you the back of the package. There's a lot of ground to cover here with Scarlet, so... Bear with me here. She comes with the short hair look, first of all. But, we get not only one ponytail, but two ponytails. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug one in. Maybe. Okay, there we go. So she's got a nice look down, and she can get a, an okay look up. Head swivel and pivot. Lateral lift in the arms is great. Get a shoulder and bicep turn. Multifunctional double jointed elbows. Wrist flex back and forth on both hands. She gets a turn in the torso. A little bit of a crunch down, a little bit of more of a crunch back. She also has a turnable waist. Lateral lift in the uh, legs is great. 
We get the thigh turn, multifunctional double jointed knees, a boot turn, flex in the foot, forward and back. as well as the rocking side to side motion. So Scarlett has quite a few accessories and we're gonna get into those right now. First off, she comes with this base. It's got the G.I. Joe insignia on it. There we go, there you can see it. And two pegs. This is great. I wish every single Hasbro action figure came with a base like this. It would make life so much easier. She comes with a pistol and a blade. She also comes with a backpack that you can plug into the back of her. I've got our other ponytail in, so that's just really not going to work right now. She comes with two rifles. A set of interchangeable hands. She also has her signature crossbow, which comes with four different arrows. Pretty neat. So all in all, I'm really impressed with this figure. It's got the nice classic look with some modern updates, like this belt where she can hold her arrows. There's this sheath for the blade. We got the throwing stars on her glove, which is a great touch. I love it. So now we're going to get a really good look at Scarlet. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Toy Geek Maniac. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you're inclined to help the channel grow, you can do so by following the links in the description. And feel free to comment below on how you like this figure. If you have it, if you want it, let me know. I'd love to discuss it with you. Thank you once again for watching. Love and lights to you all.